Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Well, we're finally going to get some widespread rain this week after a very dry spring. We're finally starting to see better rain chances this week. And the first batch is coming from a non-tropical low. People say, what's a non-tropical low, Brad? Well, almost all low pressures are non-tropical unless they're tropical storms or hurricanes. Well, the reason we call this a non-tropical low because it had origins over the Gulf of Mexico. There was a 10% chance this could have developed into something, but it's over land now, so that's not going to happen. It's basically... If you look at it, it looks like a remnant tropical depression um, moving to the northeast. And it has very similar properties. There's a lot of moisture. There's a lot of rain. There's a little bit of wind. Um, and we will keep an eye on the small severe weather risk. And I say small because I'll show you the severe weather outlook today um, for areas just east of the center. You see the areas in yellow? There is a low end risk there for some severe weather, mainly because that's that northeast quadrant sometimes you would see in a tropical system. So this little band right here is going to have some warm, humid air to feed off. So we'll keep an eye on it. The overall risk is relatively low. It's not zero, but it's pretty low right now. If I look at the probabilities of wind um, with this, we'll look at the, the wind threat first, about 5%. Hail threat, probably going to be pretty close to zero. Um, yeah, there we go. Pretty close to zero. And the probability of tornadoes, 2%. So there's a 2% tornado probability in that area in green. And I would primarily be worried about areas co uh, closer to the coast um, where we could see that probability of severe weather. So you see it moving up. And again, all the cloud to ground lightning there. This should arrive later this morning, probably closer to midday to one. So let's look at that future cast. All right, let's look at this big blob of rain heading our way. This is actually should be pretty impressive as we go into the afternoon. That's about 11 o'clock. Right around noon, you see the biggest batch getting in here. So noon to one o'clock, I would expect the heaviest rain to move in. And again, this will be heavy rain. Flooding probably somewhat of a concern with this as it moves in because some of these showers, especially if these two bands move over the same area, we could see some, some heavy rain. And we do have that low end severe weather risk, especially south and east of I-85. And what I mean by that, this area down in here is the area we got to watch because all these storms that move through, they will be exposed to more buoyant air, or what we call hot, humid air. So they'll have the potential to produce heavier rain. But you see two distinct heavy waves of rain move through between now and tonight. And then the low kind of moves right over around two o'clock in the morning. So this is going to be a soaker. The, just be prepared. This is going to rain really heavily as it moves into the area later today. And some of the rainfall amounts could be pretty pretty heavy as they move in. Let me quickly show you the uh, the heavy rain potential with this, what we call the excessive rainfall outlook. This will kind of show you the potential that we see some very heavy rain move in. So that excessive rainfall outlook, you can see I'll do day one. Uh, you can see all the area in yellow. That's what we call a 15% to 20% chance of flash flooding. So that's that's elevated. That's actually higher than the the severe weather risk and then tomorrow morning because this will be exiting the coast you'll see a marginal risk out there as well um, day three we might see more rain as another wave of low pressure comes in from the west so we're going to have a couple days with potentially some heavy rain that's why i said the rain threat is is a real deal here um, as we get into some very heavy rain let's look at the uh, forecast for the amount of rain that we could see across the area so we'll look at some of the rainfall amounts let me take off the model data here real quickly just to make it easier for you guys to see this um, so we're going to look at this is the day one rainfall outlook. So this is 24 hour rainfall and I'll, I'll show you how much is in here. Um, some of these amounts in here, basically around one to two inches of rain, depending on how much moves in. We go to day two, day three, we see the next batch of rain coming in day four through five and then days one through five. We'll put them all together. So there's the next five days kind of shows you how much rain and if you look some of these amounts let me actually see if they actually have the uh the legend on these i could actually show you but um what you're looking at here is probably around two to four inches of rain over this area over the next five days so that's some really good rainfall moving in over the next couple of days so the probability of seeing some decent rain for the first time in a long time We'll be moving in today, but the rest of the week is looking wet as well. Um, stay weather aware today. I'll keep an eye on the system as it moves in. Let me turn it off real quickly. We'll go back to the current radar, show you where it is. There it is moving up from the south. And again, if you have any outdoor plans later this morning, I would make sure that I um, have all wrapped up and everything inside because once this gets here around 1 to 2 o'clock, it's going to be coming down for most of the afternoon.